In this video, let us see how to get this free VPS without any credit card or debit card. And the cool feature about this VPS is that you have the root access. You can see that when I ask who am I, you can see that it says root user. And another cool feature is that you have 184 GP of free storage. And if you look at the CPU architecture, you can see that this is a 64 bit architecture and you have 48 core CPUs. And one more cool thing is that you can run Volama models here. Normally, if you want to run the Volama models, you will require at least 16 GP of RAM. But here you can see we are running the Volama models. So let us see how to get this free VPS without any credit card or debit card. Let's get started. For this, just head over to any browser and in the search bar, just type binder. And if you scroll down, you can see this is the website that we're going to use. Click on this website, you can see the binder. Turn any Git repo into an interactive notebook. So this is the website that we're going to use to create a terminal. So inside the terminal, we can have your VPS. Here you have to provide the GitHub repo URL here. So for that, open a new tab and let's go to your uh, GitHub that's for now let me go to my repositories where you can use any github repository for example i'm going to use my repository here and uh, let me copy this url and i'm going to paste it here so paste any github url here and click on launch so this will take some time to launch the notebook so just give you a few minutes so once it is launched then we can uh, proceed further you can see that now it starts loading the notebook for us now we got the notebook. Here inside this notebook, you can see that we have the Python as well. We have the uh, Python notebook as well. Here, if you want to change the appearance to dark mode, you can do that by click on settings, change the thing to Jupyter dark high contrast, or you can change this to dark only. So let me switch back to light theme because you know, I want my video to be visible. So let's change this to light. And on the left hand side, you have all the files that is present in the GitHub repo. If you want to view it, you can just right click on it and view it. So let me click on this terminal here. Consider now we have the terminal. So this is how you get the free VPS without any credit card. If you want to see the username of this, just type view name hyphen A. Consider this the username. So let me clear the screen. And if you want to see the free space of this VPS, just type free hyphen H. Consider for the total, we have 184 GP and we have used to. 20 GP of that and remaining we have 45 GP free space and we, if you want to see what are the folders are available just type df hyphen as you can see these are the folders that are available so let me clear the screen and if you want to see the CPUs of this just type lscpu you consider it is a 64 bit architecture and we have 48 core CPUs and the, the architecture is 64 bit architecture so let me clear the screen now and if you want to install any python package just type apt update first we want to update you consider permission denied but don't worry we can get it you consider when we type the sudo command you consider sudo command not found yet. and if you take the sudo switch command that also not found so let us see how to get the sudo access first for that open new tab and type free root github just type this so using this rep repository we're gonna get the sudo access just click on this and you consider this the repository that we're gonna use to get the sudo access so first we have to clone this so let me copy this first line and paste it here so let me clear the screen and let me paste the command now paste it here and press enter consider it clone into that now when we type the ls command consider now we have a new folder called the free root so let's see the into the folder now now we are inside that folder free root to activate this you consider either we can run this root dot search so let's try this now so we got permission deny. So let's try the second command that is the bat using the bash command. So bash of root dot search. You consider it is asking us to install you only yes. Press yes. Consider it starts installing some uh, software. You consider mission completer. Now when we ask who am I? Boom. Now we got the root user. Now if we type the apt update command, you consider it starts updating our repositories now. So this is how you get the sudo access using the free root repository. So just give you a few minutes. Now the packages has been updated. Let's try to upgrade them. So apt upgrade. So I'm gonna press Y to upgrade all the packages now. So this will take some time. So just give you a few minutes. Now all the packages has been updated and upgraded successfully. And if you want to install any specific package like Python, apt install pack Python. Just press Y. You consider it starts installing the Python package. So using the apt command, you can install any a package that you want it can be python mysql or any package that you want to install now the python has been installed successfully so let me clear the screen and type python you consider now we got the python interpreter so let me type exit to exit the python interpreter let's also create the screen and 
let's test the stability of this uh, free VPS now. Normally, if you want to run the Volama on any machine, you will require at least 8 GP or 16 GP of RAM. So let's test the Volama software now. First, I'm going to install the Volama. So just type Volama download and click on this link. And I'm going to choose the Linux. So copy this command and paste it here. And press enter. So we got here error like curl not found. So let me try it one more time. Actually, the curl is not found. So we can install the curl package using the apt command that they mentioned earlier. So apt install curl. So apt install curl and press enter. You consider it starts installing curl software for us. Just give you a few minutes, it will take some time to install the curl. Now the curl has been installed successfully. Now let me clear the screen and let's copy and paste the same command again to download this Oloma software. Let me copy this and paste it here and press enter. You can see that now it starts downloading the Oloma software onto our free VPS. So while the Oloma software is being downloaded, what we can do is we can check out the Oloma models that is present on the Oloma website. So if we go to the Oloma website and if we click on GitHub, so let me scroll on. If you scroll on, there is a table that will list all the models available. You consider there are lots of models available. The model that we're going to use is this small one. So if you want to try this out, you can try this. Olama run Moonrim. So we're going to try the Moonrim. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this. If you want to try this, you can try it on your own because it, then the video length will be huge. So I'm going to skip this part. You consider it starts only the bottom of software for now after it's downloaded you can just copy and paste the command now the another feature of this uh, free vps is that you can have more than one terminal you consider currently we have one terminal right if you want to switch to another terminal or if you want to kill this terminal what you can do is you can click on this press icon you consider now we have another launcher and you can select the terminal for this launcher as well now you have two terminals and below that we have uh, all other options as well and below that you consider here we have memory uses and if you want to view the simple UI you can turn this on and yeah and there are lots of options available in these settings as well you can change the terminal theme as well so yeah this is how you get the free VPS without any credit card or debit card so this is for this video and I will continue in the next one